If you've been paying close attention, or maybe you just like to do math in your head, you've probably realized that the class of 2009 is the first to have completed all 12 years of schooling through the Family Academy of Christian Education. Some of us joined more than a decade ago and have known each other since first grade, while others have joined more recently along the way. <coughs> Friends both old and new are graduating here together as a testament to our academic accomplishments and the experiences that we've gathered along the way. As this chapter of our lives draws to a close, another opens, one which holds adventures and challenges that we must tackle. I believe that our unique schooling opportunity has prepared us to meet these challenges and that each of today's graduates will be productive and responsible members of society. But there are those who disagree. In America, we've been blessed with many liberties, including the freedom to choose one's education. However, many are not so lucky. In Germany, homeschool families have been fined thousands of dollars, had custody of their children taken away, and even have fled the country in order, because of their government's draconian regulation of education. Homeschooling has been declared illegal, and the duty of education has been usurped from the parents and given to the state's dictate. In 2005, a German judge reasoned that the parents' right to personally educate their children would prevent the children from growing up to be responsible individuals within society. Based on the German judge's comments, I don't think he's had much interaction with homeschool students. Of course, this isn't the first time in German history that homeschooling and freedom of education has been eliminated. One of Adolf Hitler's first actions in power was to take control of all educational institutions and issues. But our American freedoms don't shelter us from criticism. After being homeschooled all my life, I've gathered some observations for those of you who might not be familiar with homeschooling. And I'd like to share some of those observations with you today. First, I don't think people completely think it through when they ask us if homeschooling is legal in the United States. If it is, and it is, it's insulting to imply that we're criminals. And if we're criminals, would we openly admit it to curious passerbys? <laughs> Second, why are people so concerned about my parents' teaching credentials? If they're concerned that, so concerned that my parents' education was so deficient that they couldn't teach me the basic general education subjects, then they might understand why I'm not in public school. <laughs> Thirdly, please don't ask my parents how hard it must be for them to be my teachers and my parents. My mom doesn't see much difference between bossing me around academically and bossing me around the way she does about everything else. And if I ever catch her talking to herself, she just claims it's a parent-teacher conference. <laughs> Finally, I think it's funny when people interrupt our dances, ski trips, sports games, Boy Scout activities, field trips, and college classes to ask if we get enough socialization. <laughs> I'm convinced that the best response is simply, we're conservative capitalists and we're against socialized anything. <laughs> My second favorite is... <laughs> My second favorite is, we're training him to like isolation so that he can become an astronaut. <laughs> But seriously, just because the word home is right there in home school doesn't mean we never leave the house. Before I conclude, I do want to thank the sacrificial, hardworking, and unsung heroes, our homeschool parents. Yes, the same homeschooling parents who think that words like controlling, stern, and authoritarian, words usually ascribed to Soviet Russia, are positive adjectives. <laughs> now, it's in every parent's instinct to be protective. It is. But homeschooling parents take it to a whole nother level. I like to call this phenomenon the angry mama bear gene. You know you have it. After 12 years, I know you have it. But I think it's this attribute of our parents that has brought us to this point and has prepared us for success. Thank you, moms and dads, for caring so much about us that you've sacrificed years of your lives to enrich ours. Thank you for never giving up on us and for sticking by us, even when we didn't deserve it. Most of all, thank you for instilling us with important values that will last a lifetime. Thank you for equipping us to become responsible and productive members of society by exercising your right to choose how we were educated. With these values in hand, we will enter the world, the world to become the salt that will flavor the next generation and a light to our culture. Thank you. <laughs>